Hello, I have here the Lego Friends Mia's Wildlife Rescue Set. I bought this for $50 US, that's five zero, and I built it live over on my Twitch channel. The set comes with three mini dolls, two, well, technically three animals, a buggy-like thing here, the main building, and also a bit of terrain off to the side. No one thing here do I think is particularly weak or a throwaway, and there's good stuff to look at everywhere. I first want you to get just a general look and a general view, general idea of the overall size and scope of this and what it looks like from some different angles, including maybe some of the not-so-camera-friendly angles that they may not have focused on in some of the marketing photos. And then let's get in close. First up, the giraffe. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the main reason that I personally bought this set was to get this giraffe and to evaluate it to see if I'm going to use this in my custom zoo in my Lego city or if I'll continue to use a custom brick built option or what. I have not made that determination as yet, even though I've had this now for a few days and been looking at it. There are a lot of things that I like about this. Mostly the body is, is pretty good. I originally thought that the proportions, the lengths of the legs versus the neck were off. I think the neck could probably be a little bit longer or the legs could be a little bit shorter, but it's not too bad. What I like most about this is the finish. It's kind of matte. You know, it's not too shiny except for the mane, which is painted on. I thought it was dual molded, but I believe it's actually painted on with a, a pretty shiny paint there. But generally, this looks really, really good. It has legs that are a little bit on the thick side, but they need to be in order to fit to the, the system, being able to attach it onto to studded surfaces and everything. The only thing that I don't like here, what I, what I think is least good about this personally, and, and I'm definitely biased here, is the head because while most of the body is something that can definitely be used with mini figs, regular Lego mini figs, you know, it's compatible. I think style wise, the head is very Lego friends specific. And I think that's what messes with the proportions for me because the head is so large. It's large and rounded. I think that if it just was a lot thinner and more sleek, even if the eyes still had that mascara on, on them. They, they still use the, the similar kind of feel and you know had that smile down there that this one does. Uh, yeah, you know, nostrils are, are definitely missing here. Uh, tongue is missing. Could have uh, uh, painted up the the antlers. Do they have do they have antlers or are they horns on this? I, I don't I'm I'm not a professor of giraffe studies so i i don't know every single thing specifically about them but you know exactly what i'm talking about there uh but yeah just the head is just it's just big and round other than that i think everything here is is really good i'm really happy with it i think that the the tail is done especially nicely that mini pig hole right there as usual for friends things allows you to put a bow on it or something if you if you want to but just generally speaking it's a really good thing and i i, I still am not sure whether i'm going to use this amongst my minifig things I, I do want to show you just a little comparison to the baby duplo giraffe very close you know and the shaping of the head very very similar ironically proportionally the duplo one is narrower look at that it has an actually sleeker head but other than that these two look like they're definitely from the same the same family the same design house and then i just want to quickly compare this to to a horse a regular lego horse and then i'll bring in a friend's horse which i don't have the center section for but just in terms of you know looking at its overall size and proportions and everything and relative to a mini doll here yeah i think tower is over it so it's pretty cool and then there's the new zebra foal, the baby zebra here, which this one looks uh, pretty perfect to me. I have no complaints about this whatsoever. I would definitely be happy to use this amongst mini fig things and not just amongst mini doll things. Uh, the, the hooves look extra large, the feet look extra large on this, but they had to once again because of the need to have enough strength in there and to be able to fit over studded surfaces. So I have no complaints about that. It, it makes sense, you know, practical considerations require uh, compromises sometimes. It has the mini pig hole right there. To put a bow on it, it has the single stud on the back and the printing is good all the way around. It's a little bit too symmetrical, I would say, but it looks good. I'm really happy with this one. 
The third animal in this set is incorporated into the small terrain build. It's a dark blue colored scorpion, which is not new, and it's just kind of hiding down here. And the idea is you have a kind of a, an action feature where you push this out and it comes out and it scares you. Then you got to do something about it. This terrain feature is very nice. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that sand or, or soil is approximated with the very bright light yellow color rather than going with tan it just makes it look a little bit alien to me a little bit too fanciful but i love the coral in here the little bit of water is very nice it's nice to have a small water feature and a sticker is used to to suggest that it's that it's moving what's most fantastic here to me is that they've brought out these sand green colored large leaf pieces yes please uh, let's get the small ones as well uh, let's let's even get like this style right here, that style of leaf in sand green as well. Uh, all the sand green, please, for all the things. This tree is actually not bad for such a simple build. It has some some movement to it. You can adjust how the the foliage is arranged on it and make it look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more organic. But for such a simple build, I think it's it's quite good. This vehicle has an awesome color scheme. If you had listed off the names of the colors that are included here, I would have thought that it would have looked absolutely terrible, but it doesn't. It actually works because of the amount of each color used. Uh, fortunately, the coral is used the least here. Well, probably the, the light, the bright light yellow down there is used, used the least, but uh, just the relative amounts, I think, works, works out really nicely. A couple of minifig accessories on the back with the binoculars and also a set of, of tongs for managing the scorpion when it comes around. No steering wheel, unfortunately, but a very charming looking little, little vehicle. This is just a case, uh, a hard shell case, and it actually is a box. There's a flower that you can pick up and bring back and you know do some studies on, I suppose. And that brings me to the building. Now, this one also has a really interesting color scheme. And this stripe section is especially nice and refreshing to me. It's so different. It's not like anything that I've ever seen Lego do ever in their entire history. And I dig it. This is sand green. This is coral. And then this is the, the former flesh tone that's now simply called nougat or nougat not not medium just the just the regular plain one it works really well and they 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 committed to it the stripes go all the way around the back i also love these stickers on this orange uh, uh pillar here the sticker design the graphic design work on there is just wonderful it's beautiful i really like the the debossed look, it was really done fantastically well. The stickers on this one, I forgot to mention on the on the vehicle, the, the color match for coral is not good. So like right here, you can see that. Yeah, you can definitely see it there, that around the edges, it's really not matched up that well. The only complaint that I have here, welcome Matt down there. They've got on display on the inside, a, a ant farm, got a, an April 2022. Interesting that they they picked a real uh, a real thing there, a, a real calendar month to put up for the calendar. This is a little vehicle bay, so this vehicle can just drive in there and kind of park as a as a half of a garage. It's not a full thing, but gives you a suggestion of of where you should go. Around the other side, well, you got a care station over here with the water bottle and the sink. A lot of stickers are used in here to add a little extra detail. That sticker right there in the center on the wall is suggested to be applied upside down. Watch out if you buy this, make sure you don't put that on the wrong way, i.e. the way that they tell you to do it. Just a small mistake there. A uh, couple more unique stickers placed on existing pieces over here, including the, the large, well, it's a very large phone, isn't it? Using a, using a book piece. I mean, typically that would be used to represent the screen of a laptop or uh, a tablet, but here it's being used for a very large phone. This is a, a weight station, so it's a scale. You've got some more stickering used in the back, plus some physical accessories that you can actually pick up and a couple of extra clips as well around the sides. So the stickers are only adding to the experience here and they are not absolutely necessary. You know, there's, there is some physical stuff. There's plenty of physical stuff for the amount of space that's here. And I'm happy with that. I think that that's, that's a good ratio. You also have the rest of the parts from the 
first aid and and care the the medi kit which is just a bag that lego's been doing i think since the very beginning of the friends line so some of the things go up some of the things go in but i think one of those things the thermometer could also be placed on one of these clips on one of the the uh, the, the the pylons or the pylons the, the pilings around the side a couple more are up here as well more intensive care and diagnose the diagnostic space big screen right there with the panel used with a sticker on the inside of it uh, microscope over here with a sticker used to represent the details there with the uh, the, the slide and all or slide or a petri dish i think it's supposed to be a slide but it's, it's round here and also a, a dropper a little bit of foliage over here this is a small ottoman interestingly okay and it has storage space inside of it so you can use that to store some foliage i guess to feed to a small animal got the transceiver dish up there for communications because this may be a little bit remote where it is and this is a station for radiology so you would put for example let's say something like uh something like this up here yeah and then do a scan and find that out right see where there's a broken bone that you need to attend to this here obviously is is a seat you can actually rotate around and there's enough space i forgot to mention there's enough space on top of this scale to place the baby zebra as well you cannot place the giraffe in here but the giraffe can come around the outsides to to nibble on some of these additional bits of foliage here got a reptile represented climbing up the side of the thing and there's also this balcony outside with the orange colored flex tubing railing so figure could stick around here and potentially again the giraffe could come right up to there and see it's at the right it's at the right height this even kind of represents a bit of tree here that's kind of grown into the building. These are the three mini dolls included. On the left is Mia, in the middle is Joaquim, and on the right is Dr. Makena. The production quality on the prints for all of these is stellar. It is excellent, it is absolutely awesome. Really, really well done. The colors are opaque. The lines are crisp. Everything is just done well, proving once again, Lego was able to do really, really good quality printing. So when you see them not do good quality printing, don't make excuses for them because they don't deserve it. They're perfectly capable of doing quality stuff when they, when they choose to. I like the rare color of the light gray colored second, second generation, I believe second mold second design of the walkie talkie also the use of a, a stud that's not black there it's actually a gunmetal gray color really cool hair pieces as well for folks who are not familiar these hair pieces will work on regular mini figures too these are the leftover pieces got a few things in coral there nothing too much too special and the sticker sheet looked like this that was a lot of stickers but it really felt like they added and they were not absolutely essential you know you can leave off a lot of these and you still have a good set but adding them in really adds to the ambiance of the place one thing i will note is that the die cut for this wasn't quite deep enough so uh, some of the stickers oh, you can see it right there for that number 15. See, it left a little bit of the adhesive behind just because it wasn't cut quite well enough. And here's another one where a little bit of the adhe adhesive was left behind. I actually had to use an X-Acto knife, a craft knife, to cut some of these out. So LEGO definitely needs to continue to improve on that. I know it has to be very, very precise, but they can do it. Honestly, the price of $50 US feels weird by 2022 standards. Think of how much, or rather, how little you get for $50 US in a Lego City set, or a Lego Marvel set, or a Lego Star Wars set, or now, in 2022, even a Lego Ninjago set, compared to this amount of stuff. Honestly, even putting the whole past few years aside and thinking of this in more normal terms, pre-mega inflation terms, in 2019, I probably would have looked at most of this and said, I kind of wish it was like, 40 45 bucks maybe but 40 but then i would have looked at the giraffe and said well okay that's a medium-sized new mold animal and animals always cost a lot more in lego sets so yeah 50 not all that bad but in 2022 50 dollars is a steal and it's good it's a genuinely good set 
that anybody can enjoy. You know, it, 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 the design is, is nice. The colors are nice. The parts are nice. Even the giraffe is as frenzed up as it is, is nice. It, it's speaking, obviously, as someone who's a bit biased against that design. The figures are really good. The quality of the printing is fantastic. There's a lot that you can do. So all in all, I'm just uh, very happy, thankful that this exists and hope that we will continue to be able to get some stuff from Lego that has decent value as well as good play value, good display value, and you know, just works for a whole lot of people. It's, it's just good. This is, this is what I like. This is what I like in Lego. Stuff that I can put together, think about playing with, even though I don't play with stuff myself that much anymore as an adult, but you know, I can empathize with folks who, who play with it. I can, I can see the, the play patterns and I can use the heck out of the pieces after I'm done with the review. Speaking of which, thank you for watching the review. If you want to check out more of my builds live as they happen, be sure to check out my Twitch channel, uh, link in the video description, my channel page, all that kind of stuff. And I'll talk to you again soon.